kids, but she always bought that drama. I love her. I hate her. I wish I never dated her. I love her. I hate her. I wish I never dated her. She take care of kids, but she's always about that drama. She take care of kids, but she's always about that drama. And uh, can, is this how you really feel, Ed? About baby mama? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. The, yeah. um, I love her. I hate her. I wish I never dated her. What, what's it like having a baby mama? Is Are you guys together... Is a baby mama just a term? A baby mama is just a term. It it really means your kid's mother. I, I know. But <laughs> before you, but but you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we when we say baby mama, there's a disassociation between the the actual relationship. This is my baby's mother, but are y'all together? Oh no, you're not. You're usually not together. But but, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. But people play with the phrase now because. Like I've I've seen couples that were together and it's like oh that's my baby daddy and I'm like yeah. <laughs> and your husband like <laughs> so people we play on words a lot like yeah. I love that I feel that's humorous to me yeah. so I wouldn't um I, I remember when I first had my second kid and I went into the doctor you ever you ever go to your doctor's appointment and they bring in that trainee doctor yeah and I had she was this. She was this Asian lady. You could tell, like, she was a bit foreign because she had, like, her voice wasn't, you know, it seemed like, you know, she she know English, but she must have just moved here maybe a couple years ago. Whatever the case is, she yeah. wasn't born here. And she was a trainee doctor. And they let her, like, come in and assess us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my girlfriend, she said, she excited, like, oh, I'm pregnant and all that. And the, the doctor was, like, taking certain questions, like, oh, is this your partner? Yeah. Such and such. And she looked at it, she was just like, but instead of her saying partner, she was just like, is this your baby daddy? Like, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was laughing. Yeah, she yeah. wasn't. <laughs> That's so, crazy. Yeah, so she and my girlfriend was like, no. Yeah, this is my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You know, my partner, and it was, I thought that was funny. The yeah. father of my child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She started breaking that down as soon as the lady left. Oh, you heard that bitch? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, it's it's crazy. Um, I mean, I, you, that's a kind of a uh, foreign perspective of black people in America. Dang, that's crazy. Right. I mean, not crazy, but I do get it. I'm all right with it. Yeah. But when I once I correct you. Like, let it be corrected. Like, but I always think this, too. It's funny. And everybody says it, so it has to be true. Yeah. But when, how often are you fooled about what you thought something was? And as you get older, you stopped your brain for thinking things that might not be what you know it to be. Does that make sense? Yeah, kind of like there's, there's preconceived notions about something and then those things kind of end up being true or what do you mean? I mean, so this lady thought like maybe because we were black or yeah. maybe because just looking at us that the term baby daddy was okay. Interesting. Oh, when do you right. tell yourself like, okay, Hey, like let me stop using certain terms because I'm start, I'm getting them wrong. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I mean, I was down to tell her like, Hey, like I get why you thought that, but we when, when we're in this type of setting. Yeah. It's not okay because you are going to then start looking at us at a certain type of way. Like right. we like chicken, we like watermelon, we're afraid of pigeons, right. we can't swim. Like yeah. all these stereotypes. If we at the cookout and you know us and you want to use the term like baby daddy, whatever the case mm -hmm. is, and you get the room, then you you're okay to do that. You know? Yeah. You have siblings? That I do. But real quick, that's an uh. interesting perspective because holy shit, a lot of people perceive like these things about black people, black culture, and they think, "Oh, this is black culture." It's like a white dude coming up to you and saying, "What's up, player?" Yeah, exactly. What's, up, What's up, player? You know these motherfucking white folks try to put look that we got a brother. Yeah, you're right. They try to hold us down, yeah. brother. Uh -huh. <laughs> Or some 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 white people are try to give me the like hate of the white people speech, and I'm oh, like, yeah. I don't hate white people. Like, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate some white people, but I also hate some people. Like, but yeah. I don't like unless it happened in front of us, or it it has to come up. I just don't get into a room and like, yo, let's start talking shit about these white motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> no, like I, ain't my, I don't think Did about you that. Hear Charlie really put seasoning on his mashed potatoes. Yeah, I don't fucking. I think he's trying to be black. <laughs> so my Achilles, my thing coming when it's with women, that's when mm. I fuck up. Like, what do you mean? Like I'll have these. I remember when I first, this is when I first moved to Portland, I used to get in all type of trouble because, mm -hmm. like, my concept of what I thought I could do around women, there it wasn't correct. Like, what do you mean? 
So well, one th- first off, what's your like cultural background? I know that you come from Louisiana. Yeah, I'm from New Orleans. New I'm, Orleans. I'm actually I'm from Louisiana. From the Nola. I'm from I'm from I'm from New Orleans. Okay, just <laughs> just real quick, right? Yeah. You from Oakland? No, I'm from uh, Pittsburgh, Antioch. Okay. See, all right. When you go out of town, do you tell people you're from Pittsburgh, Antioch? I think we yeah. had this conversation. Okay. See. You know people don't know where the fuck that at, right? Yeah, they always think I'm from Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> which is way on the East Coast. See, yeah. so I'm actually from Aurora, which mm-hmm. is, I guess I would say, the Pittsburgh of Oakland, I, I don't know. Yeah, or, yeah. or, yeah, Alameda. Like, people mm-hmm. won't say they're from Alameda. They, yeah. If they go out of town, they'll be like, I'm from Oakland. Right, you right, know? right. You, yeah. It's or I'm like from the Bay. somebody I'm from, like, the Bay Area yeah. or just San Francisco if they're, mm-hmm. like, really just, like... You're like I'm just trying to straight streamline this yeah. conversation. Yeah, I want you to get an area of where I'm from. <laughs> yeah. This is my metro. Ci- I don't even know what you call it. Is it a metro city? Um, um, it a, met- I know a suburbial, I- whatever, whatever the case is. I'm mm-hmm. ten miles out from the major city. Right, right. From. The suburbs. So, yeah. So I'm actually from Aurora. Yeah. So that's like ten minutes out from New Orleans. So yeah, when people yeah. Is that, is that east, west, or what is that? I would say Should West. We, look we call at the it map. <laughs> I would say it's the pod, West Bank. Pod, map's been in the pod, but we haven't used the map. I mean, it's right. Yeah, that's it. It's like Louisiana right here. Yeah, and it's you, further and south, really. It's crazy because it's the West Bank, but I, I feel like it is further south. Uh, that's oh, kind of weird. You're closer to the Panhandle, right? I'm, I'm closer isn't to the, the water. Pan, isn't that the Panhandle? I don't know. That no. connection to Florida? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I thought Panhandle was something that y'all call y'all park in San Francisco. I didn't know Panhandle. No, was Panhandling that. is when you're asking for money on the street. Oh, I didn't know that. Why you do y'all didn't know call? That? Why y'all call San Francisco Park the Panhandle? I have no fucking clue about. You know that. what I'm talking about? I guess it's like the a, Golden Gate Park where they play basketball at. Uh huh. Why y'all call it the Panhandle? Are people asking for money over there? Nah, I never saw nobody ask for money. I have no. You show? Sure? You need me to call my father-in-law because I can ask you, him. You want to call? Him? I'm gonna call him. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Siri. All right, we're um doing a call James. Who wants to be a millionaire? Ed is. By the way, welcome to the Naked Cat Podcast, mm-hmm. you guys. Hey, with Ed Black. Nah, cause we're gonna figure this out because I ain't dumb, you know. <laughs> no, I think you're right. I just don't. I just don't know what it means. Yeah, I didn't know. I, I think a panhandle is probably like a, a connection. Uh, Hello. Hey, hey, I got a quick question for you. Yes, sir. By the way, you're what on is, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yeah, I'm doing this little podcast right quick. Why y'all call the panhandle the panhandle? Oh, um, that part of the park, if you look at a map <laughs> of the Golden Gate Park, uh-huh. and from from like Polk, I mean, from uh, Baker to Stanion, uh-huh. it's it's one straight, it look, it's, it's just... One side of once on one one side of the street is fell, the other side of the street is oak until you get to Stanion. Uh-huh. And then the park gets wider. Uh-huh. It gets real wide. Uh-huh. Go ahead. It gets wide, right? Mm-hmm. So they call that the panhandle. And now now that has nothing to do with asking for money on the street. That's the panhandle. <laughs> that don't have nothing to do with asking for money on the street. No, no, no! It's the panhandle of the park. But you know it's about the, you know about panhandling, like right? You, you know about panhandling. No, it has nothing to do with panhandling. It has to. <laughs> it, it, it's it's the part of the park okay. that look like it's a a handle. Yeah. Okay. Now, are you familiar uh, it, it with like, the? It looks like a handle. Now, are you familiar with Louisiana, Florida, the panhandle? Or oh, dad, you remember, are you familiar with like the Louisiana, Florida panhandle? No, me either. I don't never heard of that. Okay. So there, there's a. Oh, call, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna call you back later. All right. All right. Now I don't know if that answered any question. <laughs> He's from San Francisco, so I know they call it the panhandle. Yeah. Like you was over at the panhandle today, huh? So I'm like, yeah, I was over at the panhandle. So yeah. So okay. so a, a few. I mean, there's a, a few names for like. Paths traveled in America. This is what okay. I know. Like, um, you have the Rust Belt. Okay. Uh, up towards Ohio. Yeah, Ohio. There's one in Chicago. Atlanta. Chicago. And the- There's a Bible Belt. Do you not that? know about the Bible Belt? No. I'm about to, I'm about to look. What is the one that's that's in Georgia though? It, it I goes, think it's the Bible Belt. No, it was. I know the name if I hear it. It ain't Bible Belt because it, it goes it goes like across America or something like that. You talking about Route 66? No, you don't drive. <laughs> I forgot. All my white friends told me about it because they do it a lot. The Bible Belt is a region of the southern United States and one of the Midwestern states. Missouri, um, I think, all the way to northern Arizona. 
Damn, that far? Yeah. So you can walk it like a trail? So let, let me show you what the Bible Belt looks like. Let me see. Oh. And I, I, I think they called the Bible Belt because, I mean, that's... Real, what, that's around the it south. or through it is the Bible Belt? I just think that whole area is the Bible Belt. Just like this whole area up here is the Rust Belt. I want to do stuff like that, man. I, I do. Um, I just want to do stuff like that's different like that. Like walk through, mm-hmm. like... Like touch the shit Like go through Yeah I need to go research The Bible Belt I'm telling you It's another one It's called The Fault Though it's a common name I forget what they call it The Trails or something The West mm. Trails Fuck it I don't want to sound stupid It's The Trails no, or no, something No you're all good I'm, What is a pan I'm gonna google What a panhandle is We're gonna yeah. solve this Situation I do, I do wanna do that though man I wanna just start like Going through the tra- Like you like do you, do you like Colorado I love Colorado. I like Colorado. Have too. you ever went through Gunnison on the way back towards Mm-mm. towards California? No, Beautiful. I need to try that. Yeah. Beautiful. Why was you doing it? I was a mover. I used oh, to work in the okay. moving industry. I was okay. telling you, I I did a lot of traveling. Went to Texas a bunch, uh, Louisiana, uh, everywhere. I know that this joke is worn out, and I'm not trying to do the joke, but yeah, us as black people, we, we do need to like fucking just get out there more, bro. Like, we need to, yeah, we need to be more adventurous, like uh, connect with nature. Connect with nature. We need to be more risky, risky danger, right? Like you know. Well, I ain't say all that. We need know. to start walking into dark <laughs> caves. <laughs> I ain't say all that. Just now. Baby we steps. Need, we need to start acting like Kyle. Baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you always have a friend named Kyle who's always like, you know, we should go in this dark ass tunnel in the dead of night. Nah, I ain't Let's doing. look for that witch. I don't want to do nothing <laughs> that like. It, do you ever go to Tahoe? People talk about Tahoe. I love Tahoe. So have you um, have you not? No, I, I. You gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna try, but but it's a California thing. We call that going to the snow. All right, but just want to know, like, people get lost out there. I heard people go get lost out there, go hiking and die in Tahoe. Yeah, you never heard about that. I feel like a family did that a couple of years. People tell me about that, and that's the first. That's now that's one reason why black people don't go because they don't know nothing about that shit. Mm-hmm. They don't jump in. We don't. We don't jump into that shit. Right. If I don't have that white guy with the fucking glasses with the nose thing with the cargo shorts, like telling crocodile us crocodile Dundee, yeah, mm. telling us what the fuck to do and all that. I, yeah, I don't think I want not, not at first, but I do want to do that with my kids. Like you go, go hiking, and camping. get a okay. cabin. Get a cab and mm-hmm. buy a house. Okay. During the winter, you go to South Lake Tahoe, you get beautiful snow. Mm. It's almost like you lived there your whole life. What about now? I don't know. Oh, it's, yeah. probably, it's probably like this right now. Oh, it's yeah? really sunny. Oh, it feels good. It's like, you know, beautiful, beautiful earth. Like you, you see the lake. It's beautiful. Walk around naked. I don't know about that. Why? All the bears are. You think they'll mistake you for a bear? No, I'm just Ed? saying, though. I mean, just, he's just being one with nature. Don't worry about Ed. He's naked because he thinks he's a bear. Do you think that'd be socially acceptable if everyone was, like, in agreement? Dude, that's all they do here is walk around <laughs> naked, bro. That's like, San you don't Francisco. Have to, yeah. I mean, I don't know. The Bay is just, like, this place where it's just like, yeah, well, so what? Mm-hmm. What if I am naked? Like, it's just That like, is pretty crazy. For real. Walking up hate and shit. Just got their balls out. Balls out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm starting this new drink challenge called the Cock Ring. You drink every time you see a cock ring in San Francisco. Oh, shoot, yeah. yeah. You're an alcoholic. <laughs> I haven't seen any cock rings, but I've I seen... Have you never went to Pride? Pride what? The Pride Parade? Ah, uh, no, I ain't never been to the Pride Parade. Bro, you gotta... Okay, so, Ed, there's some <laughs> things you gotta do when you're in California. You gotta see a couple dicks. Ah, the Pride Parade. I'm good, man. You gotta punch a, punch a few balls what? that get in your way. Sometimes, and this, this may sound bad, like... <laughs> you know, there is a thing... Yeah. Of too gay, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like I, I know we can't say it so much, like you know, but I don't mind. I Crossing feel like boundaries. Yeah, no, I won't even say that. Like mm. I just like the stuff. Like I just want to say, hey, man, that, that's too gay. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's funny though. I feel like I would get in trouble for saying that, but also mm. I think some things are just too black, like a too ghetto. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, whatever. You're, you're crossing be. into the uh, the extremity. You're you doing should, a little too much. Too, too much. Yeah. What's what's too black and uh, too black is just like if you're in a setting where everybody's calm mm-hmm. and you feel like ah, uh-uh, this too calm. We need to turn this bitch up. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. just like bro, we start fucking... twerking at a McDonald's. See, no, see, at McDonald's is fine. <laughs> But you, like, you at Maestro's, you in church, like, you don't need to be twerking, like, yeah, chill, yeah, yeah. bro. Like, you at the daycare, at the, you know. Don't act daughter. like the Holy Spirit ain't going to command that ass to twerk. And you at your kid will. daycare graduation. That's my fucking son. <laughs> like,
like, bro, chill out. Like, yeah. so that could be too, which it's just like, it's hard to tell mm-hmm. black people to calm down when they're excited because, yeah. you know, but at the end of the day, yeah, like sometimes stuff can become too much. I yeah. feel like you should be able to say that, you know. I, I agree. What, 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 and probably too gay is just having your dick out. I would, I can only imagine. Uh, Things that I think are too gay. Yeah. If I'm uh, hanging with a bunch of my guy friends, no matter what their sexuality uh-huh. is, and they like one of their ideas is like, "Yo, we should play ultimate Fris- frisbee." Ultimate frisbee. That's gay. That's a little too gay. That's too gay, dude. Like, yeah. if, let's Catching play volleyball. The, like, yeah. it's a it's a level of gayness, and then we can meet in the middle, uh-huh. and we can still have fun. Yeah. And I, I'll do that. Like, do you, you perceive know? that some sexual acts will occur? Once you've done those no. two gay activities, no, like no, but if you, I catch a frisbee like this, like no, I don't think yeah. that, nobody gonna be like, hey, would you like the, like, can I ride on your back as you catch it? No, right, nah, nah, that's not gonna happen. But like, like the know, guy who offered is probably like, yo, by the way, you guys, I'm having a gay orgy at my no, house. No, they ain't gonna do that later. They ain't gonna, they, it ain't gonna be like that. It's just gonna be the the act like me me like yeah. What is this? Is this flanting? That's, what is yeah, this? that's kind of me flanting for the frisbee. Like a, that's, like a gazelle. Yeah, I don't like feeling gay when I'm not when yeah. I'm doing like <laughs> you know. That's the thing about. Hey, but that's San Francisco. You know, this is the gay capital yeah. of the world. Is it though? Is there something? I don't know, man. Gay? Like, I think that people call it gay, but I don't think it's. I think one or two parts. Like New mm. Orleans is if New. We got gay music every day. That Nylons, y'all call it Nylons. New Orleans, nah, that's a Nylons. thing. Atlanta, Zatarans. Too. Atlanta, you fuck uh, with some Zat Zatarans? Is that from no, Louisiana? Yeah, Zatarans is Louisiana. Zatarans. I, I fuck with Dirty Rice, but I don't. Dirty do Rice. Dirty Rice. Yeah. yeah. So but, uh, what is it? Is it a little bit more gay or in Louisiana? I wouldn't even call. We I never thought it was Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras could. Yeah, we got gay parades. See, I I know you see titties. We do. We well, do. for that. Nothing like gay that. about that. Mm-mm. Unless you're a woman, then there's a lot of gay about that. Um, about titties? I just think titties are universal, man. You think titties, titties are universally... Titty, titty, titties are universal, man. Yeah. I don't, if you want to... I die on... <laughs> titties are universal. Yeah. Titties and ass is universal, mm-hmm. not guys' ass. But women... Yeah. Like, women's ass... Like... Mm-hmm. You know what? This is the thing about ass, okay? <laughs> Tell me about it. Okay. When you... Like when I'm with my girl and we see another girl with a big ass, I like when my girl go, "Hey, you saw that girl? That girl got a big old ass." Yeah. But like sometimes you'll see a guy with a big ass. I don't shout it out. Mm. But something like that my, you notice them. That's something that I notice. I, my girl would be like, "Why his ass got to be that big?" Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like the, the other girls would be like, "I wish I had that ass." Yeah. And I look, I be like, "That dude do got a big old ass." Like I don't think it's a good looking ass. Yeah, yeah. You can't you can't shake a motherfucker with a wagon. <laughs> Just, you, bro, you know, you can't. It, it exists. It, you know, when when, it, when, it, when a woman has a fat ass, you just you think in your mind, or you say to your buddy, "That's a nice ass." Yeah. A guy has a fat ass, you're like, "I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry that he has to carry around all that ass." And not do nothing with it. Nobody's gonna compliment him on it. Pray to God he doesn't go to jail. Oh my God. Pray the, to God. The only thing he is, he could he could become a cop, sit on people, and hold them under arrest, and mm-hmm. not not suffocate them. Hopefully, you know. Yeah. But um. Now, or they ship his ass to Dubai, and he becomes a fucking camel. He could be with that camel back. He could be now if he's a straight guy with uh-huh. a fat ass, nothing. But if he's a gay guy, then he may he may be winning. Yeah. <laughs> he may be winning. <laughs> Gay men out there. That's what y'all should do. Get a lot of BBLs. Gay dude, a bunch of you know dudes getting BBLs. That'd be a. That's probably actually so, a thing right now. This is this is what I'm thinking about like BBLs and people. Hmm. Even me, and you always talk. I always like how you talk about your voice. Yeah. And still be like this proud like black guy because in my mind. Yeah. I think that these are avatars. Oh, and like we get us the as people. Yeah, I feel like and we 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 do get the create like these are the rules. Yeah, we do get to create how we talk, how yeah. we look, who we get to be with, and who we get to become. Like, yeah. we really do. Like, if you, this is just me. I don't want nobody to take. Don't fucking use this. This is my fucking hypothesis. Don't clip this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's say you get to come down here, right? Yeah. And you get to be in this world, like Sims, like Grand Theft Auto, whatever, like right, just on some regular shit. And but you can't forget you can't remember who you were you while you done life. yeah you can't remember who you were whatever mm-hmm. before this but you're just like yo this is the guy who I want to look like this is who I am but this night might even be you yeah. you might be like yeah I'm gonna be like this woman 
but I'm a I want to be inside of a man's body, yeah. such and such. Blam! Like, what if that is the? And are you telling me I chose childhood obesity? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I want to be a fat little fucker. Dude. I want to, I want to eat all the Twinkies at Dollar Tree. Mario, you know what I respect? You comfortable with yourself? I'm, t- I'm trying. No, I'm you trying. are, I'm man. Trying. You're comfortable with yourself, man. So mm-hmm. I respect that. Yeah. People should be more like you. Like I feel like I hate the denial of it. Like, yeah, when people deny their reality. Yeah, don't mm. deny. Like I like how you bring up your voice. Yeah. I think your voice is very not of your yeah, face. Yeah. What do I sound like, Ed? You Just sound like a, wi- say it. a white surfer, dude. Like hey, a what's corporate, up, bro? yeah. Uh, like when I, if I talked to you over the phone when I saw you, I would be amazed. I'd be like, who the fuck? You know, it's funny. I used yeah. to work in car sales, and mm-hmm. I would talk to people over the phone. I'd be like, "Hey, um, you got to come on down and get this car." And then they I'd show up, and they were like, "Where's Mario?" Yeah, I'm like, "I'm right here." I'm like, oh my god, oh god, he's a black man, a large one at that. <laughs> When you hear, like, if you, like, I know you know how you sound. I don't really know how I sound. I think I sound, do you think I sound like me? I think you, well, you got the, you're Southern. You sound, I sound Southern. Southern as fuck. Do I? Do Dang. I? Not in a bad way. I, no. I, I want to know. Like, Wait, I didn't, if, 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 if that, my job was to do I sound uh, interpret su- people's voices, uh-huh. you sound, you sound Southern. You have a Southern kind of draw. Okay. Um, it's not it's not like standard English, you know what I mean? Uh, you you kind of have fun with your voice. Yeah. Like you the way you talk, you're almost playful about, you know, prolonging certain words and mm-hmm. whatnot. Or yeah. even just saying words differently than a, a California person mm-hmm. would. They all speak proper. All the Californians. You think they, so? Most of y'all just speak pro- I had a dude when I when I first moved here and me and he like he we kind of bumped each other. I was like, okay, bro, like excuse you. He was just like, I'm gonna beat your ass. So no I was just fucking like, way. Yeah, and I was like, bro, like can you teach me how to speak first? Like what the <laughs> fuck? I ain't never got my ass whooped by like a dude with proper English, like you know. So I thought that was. I'm gonna beat your ass, buddy. I, yeah, for oh real. God. I was convinced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, but I was just like, yo, Motherfucker you sounds fucking. Like he knows taekwondo. Usually, when somebody about to threaten to whoop my ass, it's like, yo, I'm about to beat the fuck out you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm about to kid dog. You ain't gonna fucking recognize yourself after this. Like yeah, your yeah. mouth is gonna move, but your face, you know, like real, like yeah. like they like they rapping to me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. gonna bust your ass, then kick your ass, and then knock your ass out. Like yeah, you know. I'm like oh, you know that's the real. All right, this nigga with this shit. Yeah, yeah. What I'm gonna hit him with, nigga? I'm gonna dodge your ass, then I'm gonna smack your ass. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I, I can't talk proper. I can't be yeah. like, well, if you kick my ass, I'm going to kick your ass. And I'm going to get my lawyer, and he's going to kick your lawyer's ass. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't have that in me, you know. And maybe that's a power. Maybe that's a power that um, once you obtain it, it's going to change the game for you. What do you mean? Like, voice? Yeah, being able to. I don't want to do that, mm-hmm. though. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do. Like, I'm. Listen, I'll say this. I'm okay. This is the thing about that. I'm okay with you doing it because you feel like hey at this time and period this voice fits me and it's a yeah the people yeah. who usually does that though they're gaslighty as fuck mm-hmm. and not acting like they not knowing and yeah. i don't like that and i'm like okay now you want to not act like what's happening right now is happening and right. i don't want to do that though welcome to california i see that. okay cool people That's are good. so fake out here yeah okay i mean people like it's 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 a it's a world full of people with masks you know goddamn like it you know, that has to be this time- is podcast oh. mario <laughs> Hood Mario is a little different. I don't Says, know. He ends sentences with nigga. Yeah. Hood Mario does. What? Not podcast Mario. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, you don't, well, you just did it. So. <laughs> well, I don't use it as a period. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> see, that's the. This, what is, what's in your yeah. life that you don't have rules about? Like, see, mm-hmm. I didn't know I end shit with nigga, you know, but I get it now. <laughs> now that I'm listening. <laughs> I didn't know I'd be gaining in this yeah. shit. Now I know. Now I'm going to be thinking about that shit the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like being just in the nature, the natural of what I'm doing. Like, yeah, yeah. You, know? you just like to be yourself yeah. with, within the means of every situation. Did you know what the word nigga meant before you started saying it? Mm, no, it's just my family was saying it. <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah. you just like just yeah, okay. You, you, you thought it was like my dog or my bro. You just like what's up, my nigga? Yeah, like, yeah. Meets heard it friend. in movies. It's not you. You know what age I found out what the word nigga was? Mm. I had to be like thirteen. Yeah, yeah. And my aunt was like, okay, listen. You know what that mean? Right. I was like, what? 
white slave owner type shit. Yeah, she was mm-hmm. to hit me with some shit. And even when she explained it to me, I'm like, I just still don't get it. She was like, that means you're a machine. Mm. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, you. that means you work and you don't get nothing. That's what a machine do. And I'm just like, I want to be a machine. <laughs> yeah. I think Oprah had a bit, not a bit, but like a, a, a time where she was like really advocating to black people to stop not, saying the word yeah. nigga. I get that now. Now that I'm because older, it, I'm starting to get it. It comes from a, a horrible place. All right. The reality of it. Right. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's one of those things I don't that's even, turned into something different. I don't even want it. I hate when I'm doing comedy mm-hmm. and people want to come hit me with some educational bubble about something I said. I'm just like. Oh, that's, I, the, that's the worst. I hate it. Has someone told like, you not to say nigga on stage? No, nobody's never told me. Somebody did that to me once. For real? Yeah, and I said. Nigga, stop. Nigga. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's what you have to when you when you truly are immersed in something. Yeah. It's just like how can you like one of my things in comedy or even in life I get hit by I get hit on two things I think. Yeah. I get either hit with like women hate things or I get hit with like homophobic things. And uh-huh. in my life growing up, that never was a thing I looked at. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's not until you guys told me. Now I'm not saying I'm probably none of those things or not, but. In my mind, I don't look at women and, and gay people and be like, yo, right, right. you, you don't guys. Look down on them. Yeah, I don't say, I don't have nothing. Now, I may say, like, one of my things that I was talking about this the other day, I was on a, another podcast. I, I got this joke about stepmoms mm-hmm. and how stepmoms are terrible. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's not that I think women are terrible. I just think the title of a stepmom is terrible because that's what everybody, like, There's give me, mm-hmm. yeah, give me one movie, cartoon where the stepmom was yeah. the. Where it was the G? <laughs> yeah. <it was> the, um. <laughs> Right, I mean, even <laughs> what's that one Disney movie with the fucking apple? Is that Snow White? Snow White. That was a s- Cinderella. Both, I think. Yeah, Both they were have evil stepmoms. Still, still, Maybe yeah. you're onto something, yeah, Ed. I'm telling you. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> ask somebody who likes their stepmom. They would be like that. Nah. I, I know some people who like their stepmom, but it's <laughs> it's the perception of the stepmom. I mean, this this it's a woman who's basically entering in a relationship. Mm-hmm. With someone who has kids with another woman, mm-hmm. and then that woman is also feeding information to her kids, mm-hmm. like you know, or the, the the kids have loyalty to their mom. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's politics. What about stepdads? What are you? Stepdads? They get no flack. They're always a hero. <laughs> you know, you never. I've never. You know, unless they're unless they're the villain, right? Which unless also occurs. Yeah, that yeah. happens. It, you know, the some dudes enter families and just terrorize. Their yeah. Kids, you know? <laughs> But <laughs> infiltrate the system, yeah. Often, and they do. They yeah. pedophiles and predators and shit, yeah. Often, oftentimes, you'll you'll see you know the stepdad being the guy who stepped up. Uh huh. You know, common phrase. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, stepmoms get a bad rap. Not uh-huh. in porn, though. Let me <laughs> tell you. <laughs> Not in porn. That's a terrible they're, example. They're winning in porn. You say, you say, oh, stepmoms only good with they sluts. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. They're winning. They're winning. Hashtag winning. Um, you know, yeah. I mean, you, you. I mean, you grew up a certain way. Would you feel like? Do you feel like people judge? Do you feel like people judge the way that you are? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or I feel you, like, you feel like I, there's, there's. I feel like people are not when I'm doing stand up, not the crowd so much. The, a couple of people in the crowd, but you know, like bookers and other yeah. comedians that run shows. Like you know, when you're doing that, you kind of like it's. It's sad to say you kind of need them to put in a good word for you, yeah, even though course, you don't. But at, at the end of the day, like it's hard for me because I really don't like a lot of them because because yeah. of that. Like us as comics, I always say it's it's. First off, we need to have each other back. Like this sure. thing of competition drives me wild, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, same, it's same, just, same. It's an, it's an it's an invisible line. It doesn't exist. It's yeah. no competition. We all really can get on. We it's you can do weddings, you can do colleges, you yeah. can do clubs, you can do personal event gigs, you can do casinos. Like it's out there, so it's yeah. no reason to be competitive. So I don't feel that from the audience because the audience is gonna be the audience. But I do feel like like I do this joke about like. Moving to San Francisco and shooting homeless people in the head. Okay, but it's about <laughs> listen. It sounds bad what I, I say. Like, <laughs> it sounds bad what I say like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But the joke isn't even about shooting homeless people here. It's really not. Mm-hmm. The joke is about the zombie shit. Oh yeah, and yes, yes, the yes. way you kill a zombie is you shoot them in the head. And I compare zombies to California, mm-hmm. the homeless people here, the whatever the case. In California, yeah. Someone, a comedian, walked up to me one time. He was like, uh, 
He was like, it's funny, you're black, so I don't see how you can feel so comfortable with talking about shooting homeless people in the head. Like, mm-hmm. you know? And I was just like, in your mind, you think <laughs> black people equate themselves to yeah. bullets? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how a kryptonite, like, what if happens if you get shot? Like, what if you be like, oh, that affect me? Like, or, or the idea that black people are supposed to act a very certain way. Yeah, like I'm not supposed but, to talk about like, nah, I don't think about that about myself. Like the the sad part is white people don't get bunched into categories like that unless it, they're talking about someone else's race, I suppose. But even then, you know what I mean? I, I hate that. I hate that we're constantly being black people are constantly being compared to other black people. To where people are pitting us against each other. And yeah, you know yeah, it is. Like, that's that's one of my things I, I hate. It's, it's, uh, it's them and it's us, though, you know? Because mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know, one thing I seen in California, and I can say this, pe- black people who move here, like, isolated, mm-hmm. they don't want to be friends with other black people. You think so? Fucking right, man. They will, I've, I've went to a group, and, they, and this black person kind of gave me, like, a little... Like a little tour, just like, I just want to let you know, these are my friends. Yeah, what kind of black person was this? I can't say it. But they do. They, they go, were kind of uptight? With black people? No, what kind of person was this person? This person was a black person. Okay, but tell me about their personality. Not the I mean, <laughs> their person... <laughs> You know what I'm I saying? mean, there you when That's you fr- if you was the though. first meet them, yeah, it is. It, when you first meet them, you don't think that, but yeah. when you when you see the signs, it's just like, bro, like. First off, that's weird as fuck because mm-hmm. the whole fucking slavery, Jim Crow, all that shit. Like, yeah. I would never want to be the token black person. Right, yeah. I don't want to be that. I just want to be cool with everybody. You just want to be yourself. Yeah, and when you try to, when people try to rope me into that role, I yeah. unrope myself and let you know, no, treat me like all the rest of the black people. Either you like or don't like. Either yeah. you don't like me or you don't. Like, I got white people I hate. I don't rope y'all. I, yo, if you cool in that moment, you cool. Yeah. I'm cool, you cool, like, that's it. You know, yeah. so... The people are here, like, and and I don't know too. Also, I'm not competitive. I heard that. Um, I heard that. Like, I, I know you. You work in corporate. You've worked in I've corporate. I worked in corporate. Yeah. So I feel like even and have you only been like the only black person in corporate? A lot of times, yeah. Yeah. So do you feel even when that next like bring on that new black guy or the black guy over? Do you feel like a competition level or something like that? Not necessarily that? with myself because I don't, I don't know. I never got that vibe from you too. I just want to say that, but I, I don't, I don't, I never, I never look at race. I think, I think, I think people's perception of race is incredibly funny. Mm-hmm, me too. I think, I think people categorizing other people based on race is super funny. That's why a lot of my jokes are race humor because mm-hmm. I think race conceptually it's is hilarious. a fucking joke. Mm-hmm. Like I do agree. There's, there's really nothing different from me, the, me and that Asian guy, me and that white guy, me and that Mexican guy. There's no fucking thing. Different culturally, not race. For culture. Yeah, culture, exactly. Yeah. Culturally. Not, but even a lot of times when I'm talking to like an Asian person who was raised by their grandparents mm-hmm. and parents, they be saying the same shit. I, I think his name is Jimmy O'Lang, and he had a yeah. bit about using that small piece of soap, and his parents wouldn't. Yeah. I thought that was the guy. I was like, yeah, we all do that. We always, you know. We're all, yeah. yeah, we all have our, our similarities. So every time I see another black person, more than anything, I look for camaraderie. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, hey, I, you know, I'm, I want you to know that, you know, I see you as a black person. If you need it, I, I got you, you know. Um, until that relationship is tarnished, then you just another motherfucker to me. You know, you know what, I'm what saying? kind of what kind of girls do you date? I date all types of girls. Yeah, I like Mexican. <laughs> I like Mexican. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> like culturally, I like Mexican. Girl. Right, but you would date any girl. I would date any girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have no preference like that either. Like that, yeah. Because you know, all my girls' friends been black, but for real? <laughs> I mean, I, I want a not, black girlfriend. No. Where, where y'all at? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Too, I noticed that too. Like yeah. black girls out here, they'll be like, they'll be like, nah, they're, they're, they're like, a little <laughs> no, they're they're a little um, what do you call it? They're <laughs> very like valley girl. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the a lot of them are valley girl. I mean, there's there's no there's no middle ground. You know, you like. Valley girl or yeah. hella hood. Yeah. So this is this is another thing too, California. Mm-hmm. So have you you been in the marina a couple times? The marina? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like all of those girls are the same. The marina where? San Francisco? Yeah. It is just everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So th- that's a California speech where we prolong our vowels. No, but Oh marina, my god, can but, you believe? No, what? but all the girls yeah. in Marina 
That's who. That's what the, it's. I feel like it's Marina. A fucking, where's Marina? Marina is like the fucking like next to the water, like going towards like Fisherman's Wharf mm-hmm. and all those houses and apartments yeah. and shit. Like they all are just like the y'all spent like the same fucking people, the same mm-hmm. program. Mm-hmm. Like in order for you to live back there, you got to take an interview, and if you're not like. Mm-hmm. Blind and dumb, like you can't yeah, even yeah, like. Yeah. Or if you look like ah, trust fund ah, like you just can't <laughs> even. Yeah, like if you wasn't on a cheerleading squad in high school and you didn't yeah. go to a college that you couldn't IQ getting into, just you had to your daddy had to pay for it. Like I, yeah. I think money, money also changes people. What do you think? Mm, I do too, but I don't think it changed you if you grew into if money. If you grew into money, yeah. yeah. I do feel, I, you know what though? I have said I've been stung a couple of times because I've met people like with a bunch of money who just yeah. so fucking down to earth. Yeah. They just chill as fuck. So sometimes I'd be like, okay, this thing I thought about you, sorry. I usually tell people too. I'm you like, said that to me. Oh, I did? You were like, I thought you were ass. Yeah. About my comedy. <laughs> okay. Like, I've never seen you do comedy. I was like, well, thanks, Ed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like to tell people, I do though, because. That was funny, yeah. You ever hold your subject? You ever hold yourself to standards that yeah. you want other people? So if I thought something about you, yeah, and maybe either passive aggressively or not consciously or unconscious, I treated you a certain type of way. You may even not even notice, yeah. But I did. I do feel like, oh wait, I need I need to go correct that and say, hey man, I thought you, even though if I was ignoring you, being mm-hmm. like, I'm sorry about that, you know. You're. I, th- I think that's a. I think it's a very very real approach. I feel like. I mean, that's also the, I feel like that's, that's a part of Southern hospitality, in my opinion, Mm -hmm. where people are a lot more open about how they feel about things. They they don't sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. Out in California, you know, the, the mindset is to sugarcoat it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell this person how I feel, but I'll do things in their life to (laughs) show them how I feel. Ah, is that a California thing? It's a California thing. I see that. Um, so like, I won't, I won't, instead of me not. I'm not going to stop talking to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just talk to you less, 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 Until I'm absolutely gone. God, I ain't going to lie. That's kind of good. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I think it's great. I don't, I think it's great. I think it's very hurtful. Wait, if you didn't do anything though? Because if you did. You didn't have to do anything. Oh, You could have just gave me an ick. You know, when like when you, when you, I feel like in the South, if you do something stupid or do something crazy, somebody would be like, you look fucking stupid fucking yeah. walking up to that person yeah. saying this or that. I like that. No, I do like that. I'm sorry. That's real shit. I like that because then I can either correct myself. Mm-hmm. I miss that time, bro. I yeah. do. Because then I can I can correct either you or myself. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? As long as you don't embarrass me and do it in front of people, like, yeah. I'll take it. I'll be like, yo, you know, like, my bad. I didn't mean yeah. for it to come out like that or mm-hmm. say that this is where I was at in that moment. Yeah. Hey, fuck you. I, this is what I do. Like, you know, I can respond to you appropriately yeah. and then we can find out if we're going to... I miss those times. And if, in California, you do something crazy or weird, I wouldn't even give you a look. <laughs> I wouldn't even give you a look. I, I, I note it mm-hmm. and I tell everybody. Yeah, that's what... Dude, that's some bitch shit, I think, that's bro. That's what people do out here. I do see them do that. It's the culture. And you know what? <laughs> dude, these... Dude, it's I crazy, always right? say that about other... It's funny just being... And I... I I think two things on the thing. Like I get, mm. I, I hear comedians talk shit about me, but like 100%. I don't, I don't never go approach them because I'm like, well, I'm gonna take it. Y'all, don't, y'all don't like that. Mm-hmm. Even if I'm, even if I'm in the right, y'all yeah. not gonna like where it's about to go. They're gonna see you as a, an aggressor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So I, I just usually try to ignore them. That's hard for me. You know what I'm yeah. saying. Because I be want to catch them by themselves and say, say, you talking shit about me? Mm-hmm. You should have talked to me about that shit. Oh, yeah. I could explain myself on what actually happened, but mm-hmm. you around here going. But I also, you know what I also think too? When I hear these, when I hear people here yeah. talk shit about that person who does that, mm-hmm. he talks shit about so many people. I'm yep. like, my brain always go, okay, do you talk shit about me when I'm not around? <laughs> like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It, like, it reminds me of like uh, when you're in a relationship. It's I think it's I think it's bad practice to talk about your lover. Mm-hmm. You know, talk to talk ill about yeah. the person you love because yeah. what ends up happening is that you end up tarnishing that relationship yep. yourself. Yeah, I was I did some shit like that, and mm-hmm. I look back and I'm like, I was a fucking idiot. Yeah, I should have I should have. Yeah, all the things I hated about that person, I should have spoke to them mm-hmm. about that. That's why we here, bro. Should have been upfront. That's why we here. We're emotional creatures, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, and 
once you can tame that, but it also, how did you come to that? How how long did it take you from that point to come to that conclusion? Like, fuck. Well, you lost them. You lose them. Oh, because you know? of that? Well, because, it, it, you know, those those micro aggressions you feel towards that person, they, they compound into something bigger, you know? And then that big thing is an action. You end up leaving them because you feel a certain way and you were never able to talk about it. You know, when you really love somebody, you, you put in work, you know, you talk to them about that thing that yeah. is bothering you. But I mean, people say to themselves, it's hard for them to talk about stuff. And I'm yeah. like, once you say that, it so will be to it will be you will be hard. Tougher, yeah. yeah, you can't say that. You know, if, instead people should say, I need to talk yeah. to them about this. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I need to. You were you were telling me a little bit about therapy. Um, are you cool to talk about? Yeah, that? yeah, I can talk about therapy. Um, how long have you been in therapy? I think it's been a year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and when I'm in, th- I'm in couples therapy. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm do in you, couples therapy. Do you therapy. feel like it's been beneficial? Yes. What are some things you learned from couples therapy? Um, that I need instant gratification because I do stand up. Mm. So, you ever get this thing from people when you say something to them, they either don't say nothing or they ignore you or Yeah, I have a buddy who does that. He's but he's from North Carolina. I think he's just Slow? A little bit slow. <laughs> it's I'm like, weird. you still there, motherfucker? Yeah, bro. <laughs> so my the therapist at the time, she, and I, I learned, I was like, yo, when I fucking talk to her or even other people sometimes, yeah. like, they fucking don't say shit or don't mm-hmm. let me know that they're listening yeah. and they're going to give me a response once they compute whatever they heard. Right, right. You need acknowledgement. Yeah. I, and she kind of fucking flipped it on me. She was like, oh, because you're a c- comedian, when you say something on stage, mm-hmm. you get an exact reaction from the crowd. Right, right. You know? And she said, because of that or, or practices of that, you, in your life, you talk to people and you expect exact gratification. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I told my therapist straight up. I was like, bullshit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. What they say when you said that? Huh? She, she was just like, just sit and think for cap. Me. <laughs> Cap. I told, she starts talking about her. Because, Cap. because, dude, when you like, I, I see this. I get frustrated, not just on my point, anybody yeah. point. You ever go like sit down at a restaurant, mm-hmm. and the waitress comes up, or the waiter comes up, and uh, they're like, "Hey, who ordered the chicken andouille, whatever?" Right? Yeah. And everybody's just like, "Ah, uh, like, like no hey, one's saying anything. Nobody's saying anything." I when I'm there, I'm like, "Yo." Who ordered the fucking chicken and do it? Oh, it was... Yeah, say something. What did yeah, you... Yeah, I didn't yeah. hear what she said. Say you didn't hear what she said then. Like, yeah. this thing of communication with people, it's just like, where did it go? Like, mm-hmm. where did... And I, I and I do agree... I did Later on, I did think about it. I do agree with half of what she's saying. Mm-hmm. But, like, when you say something to somebody, either they... Sh- if they're thinking about it, they should be say, hey, let me think about that for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm thinking. Like, give me something to let me know you heard me. Because if you don't say nothing, then I'm like, yo, you just fucking ignoring me. Ed, when you were a baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I couldn't remember when that were, time. When you okay. were crying mm-hmm. as a baby, did your mom just let you cry? Mm-mm. She came to you. I'm pretty sure after a while, like, she was like, yeah, fuck that. Think Scream about that, Ed. Yeah. She filled the space. Yeah. She gave you what you needed. Oh, shut up. You my therapist. <laughs> child therapy. That was my child therapy 101. Yeah, class. that worked. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your mother. That's, a, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's how it starts, bro. No, but um, I, I think I think it is like filling like filling the gaps. You don't you don't like when there's dead space in conversation. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's just like me and you are having a back and forth right. transaction. If I go mm-hmm. Mario, where you from? And you just looking at me like the same way before I ask the question. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, nigga, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you you gonna give me something to let me know you heard it. Yeah. That in 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 how much time you need to respond. Mm-hmm. You if you don't need no time, you are gonna respond. If you need a little time, you are gonna say, hey, let me think about that. Or come, you know. Yeah. So do you ever think? Do you ever think silence is an action itself? Yes, I do. I do because of therapy though. Yeah. Yeah. I do agree with it. It's hard to agree with it though. So if you're talking to someone and they don't respond to you, you know, you should okay, say, okay, so I'll if, note your silent response. If I'm talking to my baby mom and she doesn't yeah. respond, I know now. What do you, what do you say? <sighs> What's your go-to? What I say out loud or what right, I say yeah. in my head? All right. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to improv. Right <laughs> now, All right. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Um, did you switch the clothes over? Uh-huh. 
Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, yes, Ed. Yes, Ed, I did it. Okay, did you yes, switch the motherfucking Ed. clothes over? I did it, Ed. Is that you got that motherfucking that ignore me, Ed? Nah. I did it, Ed. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> bro. So now what I do, no, no, no. Actually, now what I do is I talk to myself. I, I usually always do talk to myself Tell before it. I'll go, all right, she's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking right now. Yeah. The therapist told me this what happened. Leave her alone. <laughs> give her give her two hours. <laughs> <laughs> or just let's go down and just check on her clothes. Yeah. And then when I'm going down now, I'm even losing it more because I'm just like, she could have just told me, but whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. I just think like secretly, I don't know, man. I think that people just do shit the fuck with you, man. Yeah. Like and it's do yeah. You, do you feel like there's there's moments where you feel like it's like a personal thing, like do you, her silence is more personal than not? I think that combined with other little things are more personal than that. Like yeah. I think that like you like when I ask my girlfriend a question, she'll go, I go, oh, oh hey, uh, what all do you have to do today? So I can tell you what I have to do today. We can mm-hmm. combine them together. She was like, I'm she'll go, I'm not sure. It's just Damn. like, yeah, exactly. Dismissive. Yeah. Mm. It is just like, it's not that she's not sure. Yeah. It's that she feels like, she feels like that she's locked into her answer. Mm-hmm. So she doesn't want to give me an answer in case she changes her mind right. later she, on. Mm-hmm. Instead of just changing her mind later on, instead of her saying, being communicative, mm-hmm. communicative, is it communicative or communicative? communicative. Wait. Communi- you, communicative. Communicative. Mm-mm. Communicative, I think. I think it's communicative. Rock, paper, scissors? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. So communicative. She, <laughs> if she was being communicative. Gotcha. <laughs> Is that if, what they did in old England? Yeah. <laughs> that's who that's what we decided was right. If if she practiced good communication, mm-hmm. she could just say, Hey, I know I told you I didn't have anything to do later, but I do. Um Clarice, whatever her right. per, friend is, called me to do this. Mm-hmm. Um I do have to do this. Yeah. Am I able to change it? I'm like, yeah, if I go get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah. I don't want you here. Like, you know, so that, that is my thing. And, and, and even in that process, it seems like a decent exchange, mm-hmm. but I think since I told her about the good communication, oh, yeah. it's no longer valid. Like, you know, <laughs> Tell me about that. I mean, this is the thing, right? Like, an idea when you come up with it mm-hmm. is golden, even if it's good. If right. I come up with that same golden idea, mm-hmm. then it's not as good. This is the uh, this is the restaurant complex or the restaurant paradox. Is it? Yeah. If you if you're with your woman, and you mm-hmm. suggest three restaurants, and mm-hmm. she says no to all of them, and you're still asking her like, where do you want to go? And she's like, I don't know. Yeah. And then you suggest one. And then you finally suggest the one that she's always probably we're already thinking uh-huh yeah and that was the golden one yeah uh-huh it's crazy the restaurant yeah. paradox how do you reverse that though how um, do you and then then it becomes a game that you never even want to play yeah. so now now when it's time to get the clothes i just i guess instead of asking her i go check the clothes yeah. but then i build a resentment because now she's going to ask me a question now yeah. and, and there's almost a fear of you asking her or you opening up Damn. Mm-hmm. How you broke? The, are you are you, are you a therapist? I could be. <laughs> I could be. Took one child therapy class. Um, I was I was in therapy when I was oh, a kid. Was it? Oh, when you was a kid? Mm-hmm. Mm. I had a blind therapist. I used to feed <laughs> her dog. She fucking hated me. Did she know you were black? I don't fucking know. I don't think it ever came. She probably knew. Somebody probably told her. You got this black kid coming. You know? Why were you in therapy as a kid? Foster care. Ah, uh, well, that's yeah, a good one. When you're in fo- when you're in foster care, yeah. you have to go in therapy. I put my daughter in therapy too. That's good. Yeah, therapy's therapy's good with the right person. Yeah, I got switched from her. She was like, "Mario, I can't do shit with you. You're just playing ping pong on my fucking laptop." <laughs> All the time. I got switched to her to uh, another dude who was he was super cool. He was like a dad figure. Uh-huh. He was like my first like dad figure. Kind oh, of guy. that's right. And uh, he was like, "Mario, you don't need to be here." <laughs> that's like, what's up, man. Thanks. You know? Yeah, how did you feel about that? I was twelve. Uh-huh, yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah, still though, it was like, it was a great way to get out of school. 
Yeah, but even still though, like yeah. you know, you were twelve. Like that don't yeah. mean you had for you to even remember that moment. Yeah, it was, was it, important. It was like, super you know? important. Yeah, and I think that's respectful. Like, mm -hmm. I hate these people. I, I before I got the therapist I got now, I talked to this other lady, and she t we had a, a decent conversation. I yeah. thought, and after that, she was just like, "So, do you want any like meds?" And I was just like, "Do I need any meds?" What? And no she was way. just like, "Do you want any?" I was just like, "What do you got? You like, wanna send me her information, or yeah, like." <laughs> You just gonna put me on medicine? Like, so, uh, do you want antidepressants? I yeah. don't know. I was fucking happy walking in here. Yeah, lady. I don't even know what antidepressants is. Like, you know, something antidepressant, I guess. But still, and all, stop I, your depression. Oh, I don't have any of that. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> she, what, what could she have given you? Yeah, I don't know. Fucking, I don't. She know. thinks you have like ADHD or something. What is Zoloft? She didn't offer me that, but if she did, I wouldn't know what it is. If she did. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm like, what Zola. is? If you just Zola? start offering me shit, like I don't know what I don't know what Xanax is. I don't know what Percocets are. I don't know. Zoloft is for insomnia. Oh wait, sorry, it gives you insomnia. <laughs> what does it do? What are the pros and cons of Zoloft? Hmm. Uh, what the fuck? What does it do? I don't know. She wanted to give you it. No, 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 no. But it's just one I don't. Ones. You ever hear medicine names? And you're just like, what? What, what is that? Mm -hmm. What? What is? What is bibutrol? Like, yeah, what is? Wow. That? You know, Zoloft treats depression, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, uh, post traumatic stress disorder, uh, premenstrual. You take anything? I don't. Never did. No. Yeah, me either. Yeah, I, just, I, don't, I don't. I also don't have the the mind to take things. Me I, either. No, me either. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have any. When people go, they say they problems. suffer from depression. I'm like, how? Like not mm -hmm. not like judgy though. Like I hate that it sounds judgy. Yeah. Like I, I'm more like experimental. Like my mind doesn't understand. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm the brokest you ever yeah. meet, or the most touched, or whatever you want to call. Like I don't most touched. Do you want to talk about that? No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying though. Whatever yeah. like these things are like, it's just yeah. like. I I think uh, it's one of those things where it's like, at least in my mind with depression, I think depression is one of those things where it it's either a phase that we go through. Like you have depressive stints in life. I've had many depressive stints where like things were happening. Ongoing though. depression. Right. Um, but. You know, you I, in my mind, you muscle through the depression. Yeah, you know, I'm not depressed right now. Yeah, um, and you've told me bits and pieces. I know mm -hmm. you talk about your mom a lot, yeah, or whatever yeah. the case. And you know, I was in foster care too. I know the foster oh. care is wild too. Yeah, yeah. So just growing up and figuring yourself out and who you want to be, and you know, yeah. so you know, I, I did have those little moments, but after like when you and I don't know when it, it clicked for you, but once I found out like. No one gives a really like a shit about you, uh -huh. and you just have to give a shit about yourself. Hundred percent. Hey, after that, I was it was done. After that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was like, I, every moment I was sad or I guess depressed, I would be like, "Oh, all right, we're gonna chill right here for a sec. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get beat up a bit, but after a while, we're gonna fucking get back." Yeah, and that's yeah. a wrap. You know, like you know, I, I don't know how it is for everybody else, but like, I could have stayed there though and be like. Yeah. Why is this happening to me? Why is this going on? But I'm noticing that we just all feel some type of way because of a reason. I don't know why, you know? Yeah, I think, I think that's how depression works, kind of. There, there's something that propelled you into the depression, whether you know what it is or not. Mm. A lot of times it's good when you do know what it is because you can directly fight what that's causing that depression, whether it be financial, emotional, what mm -hmm. have you. I think people who get on depression, like medication aren't aware of what's causing their depression and I think that itself is mm. fucking scary. Yeah. Can you imagine like yeah. like uh, I'm I'm doing well financially. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm great yeah. emotionally. I have mm -hmm. all these people who love me but mm -hmm. I'm just fucking sad. People do that physically and that shit blows my mind. Hmm. You ever meet a person and they go, "I'm like, how the fuck did you get that bruise?" And they're like, "I don't know." You didn't fucking <laughs> it's, 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 you got a gash on your arm, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I woke up, it was just like <laughs> What are you talking about? I would be researching my bed. I would yeah. be looking at magnifying glass, like yeah. looking like well, who the fuck who beat me Where up? Why would sleep? Yeah. Uh, 
bruises can also be contributed to low iron. Dang, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? That is fucking like crazy. If, you, if you're not getting a lot of... Um, you can just get bruises. You can just get bruises. That's crazy. Somebody could touch you and you can get a bruise. See, but see, at least you even know. Like, hey, you mm-hmm. touched me, fucking hurt me. Like, mm-hmm. But to just be like, you don't even fucking know. Or, you didn't shake nobody's hand. Yeah. Or, but, I mean, it'd be bad if they're worried about it and they still didn't know. You know at that point, they're like, I got demons. <laughs> My mom's got this crazy story. Oh, shit. She was like, when I was a kid... This is how I knew Jesus existed. <laughs> okay, when I was a kid, your mom from the I, south? N- no, but my family's from the south. Oh, you did that. This is how this I know how Jesus. Talk. This is okay. how I know Jesus real. She was like, when I was a kid, I was I was doing something wrong with my mama, and I knew I, I and she knew I fucked up because when I woke up that morning, I was por- paralyzed from the neck down. I couldn't get out of my bed. <laughs> the devil got me. Oh shit! I was like the devil. <laughs> God damn. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't. As I'm getting older, I'm not fucking with people's realities, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like to be, people got some weird shit going on in their mm-hmm. lives. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. Trying to stick with the normies. I'm uh, me too, man. Where the normies at? Where the normies at, man? I can't reality <laughs> jump no more, man. Yeah, I can't, man. I just can't. It's getting me into trouble. Like I don't want to do it. Yeah. What's the, What's the craziest reality you've come You've come across? If you're cool with speaking on it. No, no, no. Okay, so I it's it's hard to explain, right? So you don't have any kids right now, right? No. Once you have kids, like like so let's say you you, you don't have kids now and then you jump to next year, yeah. That's a reality jump. Like right, your right. life of what you did before is a whole you you're a parent. It's changed, yeah. Yeah, you've been born again. You're not that single man. Mothers who yeah. when a woman becomes a mother, they like they jump realities. Yeah. Like they jump into becoming a woman to born a mother. Yeah. Like you're born like your mind, your body changed. Even if you don't want to think about something, you mm-hmm. doubt that is implanted in your brain. Mm-hmm. Even if you want it to go away. Even if you want to be like, like I want to be an ain't shit dad. I can't. My brain is yeah. like, bro, check on your fucking kids. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, and then reality jumping is not remembering everything you were or who you were as that person when you were doing that. So my mm-hmm. kids will come up to me and say, hey, dad, you remember this? You remember that? And I'll be like, no. Yeah. Like, I don't even think of myself. Reality jumping is when a group of people in different parts of your life tell you this is who you were yeah. and you go that's who y'all think I am like you know <laughs> yeah, 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 like yeah. my sister like my sister told me the other day she was just like I don't know what you were doing back then but you must have had so much money cause you was just like paying for our school lunch like yeah. you were taking us out to eat you were buying all our graduation shit I'm like that wasn't me like you know what I'm saying <laughs> like so that was rich Ed. yeah like you know <laughs> but I do remember like a little bit like subtle parts of that like I, I know she's not lying well, you know what I'm saying so like that's that's what it is like mm-hmm. when people remember you and you don't think of you as that yeah and that's mostly like of that now do you want to be that guy that's mm-hmm. the funny thing I want to be that guy yeah I don't think I'm that guy I want to be that dad do I think I'm that dad? I want to be that husband, that wife. That I mean, that husband. You want to be that wife? I want not that wife. You want to unpack that? Ed? I want to be <laughs> that husband, that boyfriend, that partner. But am I like? Yeah. I don't feel that way, and I'm living in my own head and not even where I'm at or what yeah. I'm applying, and that could be a bit of reality jumping. I'm I'm I never was like super religious. I'm more religious than I am now because yeah. I understand. Like, have you ever read the Bible? Yeah. You read it as in in its entirety? Fuck no. Okay, so that's what I mean. Have you read it Have like you from, read the Bible from front to back? No, but I'm starting to like actually oh. like really read like Genesis. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. even in the first part of the Bible, I'm starting to understand like this concept of belief. Oh, I don't like people will still say this in their forties, in their thirties, even when they're older, they will yeah. say, I don't I don't believe in the Bible. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm like, once I read it, it's not something you believe in. You don't right. believe in the Bible. Right. Read the motherfucker, and if it correlates with you, take it. Like yeah, you know what I'm a, saying. It's a bunch of life uh, lessons. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I noticed that reading just Genesis stems mm-hmm. from a lot of other books that I didn't looked over, I didn't read. Yeah, you know. So I'm like, yo, this is the first book that probably came to us, right? Mm-hmm. That you remember and be like, oh, it's the Bible, it's the Bible, and yeah. we all just never even fucking read it. We never, no, no one's read it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No one's read the Bible. Why? Yeah. Like, I, even if you're not religious, why would you still not? fucking read it you know like yeah i mean but you're gonna 
skip the Quran? You're gonna start reading the Quran? I might go. Yeah. After I read my first, now if, I, mm-hmm. if the Quran came, out, if the Quran was talked about just as much as the Bible, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because not everybody know about the Quran, bro. Everybody know about the Bible. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It. Well, that's their Bible. A bi- Bible is just a term for like their sacred book. But everybody knows mm-hmm. about the Bible, the Christian, whatever you want to uh-huh. call it, the Bible, the a lot fucking of people in Genesis. America. Yeah, it's I, the Christian Bible. I've I I talked to people who are not from America. Mm-hmm. They know about the Bible. They yeah. they've said not everybody. You could walk up to people. They won't know what the Quran is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know how the Quran look. Yeah, yeah. You, you know? know what's crazy? I think I think Christianity is a basis for a lot of other religions. Is that what you said earlier? No, I was saying that like books when I talk about like relationships or yeah. we talk about kids. Yeah, of course, course, course. I've yes. seen stuff pulled out of mm-hmm. just Genesis by yeah, itself. I've yeah. read the. I'm like in a. I'm gonna say this. I'm in the middle of Genesis, mm-hmm. and it's not that I believe that. Do you know the story of Cain and Abel? Yeah. It's not that I believe that Cain killed Abel. Mm-hmm. I do believe that us living on this planet together, doing work together, we can become jealous of each other and jealous. Right. It's a story of jealousy. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. And jealousy within your family as well. See how deep it goes? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You What you gonna look at it and go, well, I don't believe in that. Like, how the fuck not? Yeah. Go anywhere. Even in, us as comedians, we look at each other. If you do good, you look at them in the club, go, yo, you did good. And mm-hmm. you look at that dude and be like, yo, I'll fucking kill you. Like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, I hate you, like, that you did that good. And it's so, it teaches you not to be like that. And go, right. Once you read it and see it, you're like, yo, that, that way I was feeling is not, damn, what, what else is in this goddamn book? Mm-hmm. Like, so. I feel like, I mean, that's what religion does, is it brings order. To the chaos, yeah. It, you know, it gives you it gives you structure. It gives you the golden rules. Yeah. You know, don't kill. Don't steal. Yeah. You know, it gives I you foundation. I didn't jump into a whole another mm-hmm. part of my life now. Yeah. I'm fucking like reading shit, mm-hmm. getting information, being like, oh shit, like this is all you got. Like it sound like to other people they're gonna be like, yeah, dummy, like. But to me, you know, all my experiences have been personal. Yeah. That's my with women, with kids, with. Other men with other family mm-hmm. members have been my per- like to hear about it from someone else many centuries ago. You yeah. want to say whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Maybe they wrote it whenever mm-hmm. to hear about it. Go shit. Let me not now. I never did do that, but now not now I'm not gonna do it because I yeah. see where it can lead to. Yeah, you know it's jealousy could lead to murder. It's reality jumping out like now my brain is shifting how I see. The world now That shit is crazy Yeah Do you That's do you go to church Ever? No you should. I don't think you need to But it's fun Yeah I, I if, you mean, to, if you go to the right church It's it's a bop But see I think that This is another thing I thought too was a problem See mm. that guy On the preacher He interpreted what he saw Right 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 oh, he just, He's interpreting it his way He's interpreting his mm-hmm. way If you want you to read it And understand You can interpret your way I might not agree With what right. he said Which is fine too You know I don't think Like I, I'm not saying don't go to church or go to church, but I think that that's even also what like stems people from, you know, away from religion. Because we yeah. look at those people and we look at them as why they don't practice that. What do you know? What version of the Bible you're reading? I'm reading Is it the Bible King app? James. Oh, shit, no, it's a Bible. I keep, it's the King James version or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So when when you have different versions of the Bible, you you're ultimately reading someone else's interpretation of it. Mm-hmm. As well. You are. You are. Um. So. But just after. To think about. No, but see, so the one I got, see, mm-hmm. this is what I, this is what I've seen. Is it this, annotated? My girlfriend Bible is, mine's not. Yeah, my, yeah. Mine is annotated from the back. So when once I, so so this is the thing. The one I'm reading is harder than the one she's reading. Yeah. See, we read, yours, yours got the real King James. Thy shall not yeah, begat, eateth begat, yeah. thy neighbor's butt. Yeah, but I'm noticing, mm-hmm. and, I, I, and I get why they do that though. And it's hard though because people are putting what they think is an interpretation. Yeah, yeah, you, but don't the, want to, you don't want too much of a spin on it. Yeah, but I see why though because when you when you first start reading it, you like I don't understand none of this shit. Yeah. So then it deters you from it. That's why. So once I start reading her Bible, which is more broken down, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, let me go to my Bible. Then after I'm fun reading my Bible, I'm gonna go to the whatever the version was before that, and then yeah. before that, and then do some more study and saying. How can I grow more? And what what, what do I agree? What because you could disagree with the stuff that's in there. Yeah. Um, in in this the one of the stories about Noah that was in Genesis, mm-hmm. his son got punished because he saw him naked because of drinking and it made his whole family slaves for this many years. Whatever the case is, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That didn't make sense. That, to can't, me. that one can't apply. 
I mean, I, I, at this moment, I'm just leaving it right there. Yeah. I haven't read that's the whole. That's Old Testament. It, it it may come back. I don't know what what <laughs> you know. I don't know why would you see your dad's dick? Why would that make you you know? Yeah, go, I yeah. I didn't grow up with a dad, so I don't have to worry about my kids being slaves. I don't know. Yeah, or sacrificing people. Yeah. And shit. So. Yeah. That's that, insane. Yeah. You know. Uh, so. Yeah, you you made me think of a sketch. Um, because the, there's so, so many different versions of the the Holy Bible, um, I just imagine a, like a, a pastor just being like, "All right, let, if you've been to church, he goes, all right, let's read from Matthew twelve one, and he just starts reading it, mm-hmm. and then you're reading your Bible, and you're, you're just you're seeing like different coded like things, you know, you just have like the hood version, <laughs> you know." Matthew was walking to that motherfucking hood. Yeah, you know, uh, Matt, I don't know. There's a guy in New Orleans. He does that. His name is Frank White. And he really? break it down. Yeah, he do that. <laughs> he switches it up. Because I started, and when I, I once, because I never like, not like, I'm going to say like, I never understood what he was saying, but I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't know the Bible. Yeah. But now once I did it, I was like, okay, I got it. <laughs> because I, I do, in, in, in the, in the Cain and Abel, I do want to do like a stand up bit about it. Yeah. But I'm like, I don't want to sound like a preacher. I want yeah. everybody to just kind of look at, even if you don't believe, I just want you to just look at it. Like, yeah. I don't mind looking at stuff. You know I think Bible saying? stories are great. I think, I think they're very relatable. I think a lot mm-hmm. of people know, you know, Genesis, they know Cain and Abel. They mm-hmm. know, I'm sorry, Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, Noah. Mm-hmm. Um, they know, you know, Jesus, the New <laughs> Testament. You know, really, really, it's, it's, a, it's a big time skip. Yeah. After after Noah, I think after Noah had kids, he he's got, you know, I think Noah's kids, um, descendants from Noah actually started Judaism or something like. It's really I, interesting I how saw some, how it all correlates. Yeah, I, it was it was real. Yeah, you're right. Because like and it's funny yeah, you say that like that because. They'll go down like it's called begat or something like that. They'll mm-hmm. be like, "Oh, this guy begat this guy and begat that guy and mm-hmm. begat," like showing that family tree yeah. of when it started. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. Another thing I thought was cool in the Bible is funny because they lived longer back then, like mm-hmm. of that like two hundred years. Yeah, and, and they had like, giants in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Do you know that? They yeah, they had giants in the Bible. Uh, yeah. What's that guy's name? I mean, David they, and Goliath. They got giants now. You think so? I mean, they got some. What's the tallest person you've seen? Hmm. Deep. Deep is the tallest person you've seen? I think so. Damn, they got people fucking big, like way bigger than Deep. <laughs> deep is like regular tall. Yeah. <laughs> you know that? Like Deep is regular tall. Yeah. I think Deep, like what is joke is? He's 7'11 or whatever. They got mm-hmm. people fucking taller than Deep. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's just like to me personally when I see like Deep, Deep, if Deep go to the NBA, he going to look short. Really? Yeah, do you stand next to the NBA players? Like, he's going to look short. Like, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. No, Giants, Giants do exist. I mean, Shaq's yeah. still on this planet, yeah. you know? Um, I don't know. I, I, I used to love church. church Google was the my... tallest person. Huh? Google the tallest person. Who's the tallest person? I don't know. Yeah. I think it's probably some fucking random Albanian guy. <laughs> Let me say, who... I hope it's a black dude. ...is the tallest person in the world. The tallest person in the world... Turkish farmer. I was pretty close. How tall is he? Um, he's eight foot two. Eight foot two? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's pretty tall. That's pretty tall. Eight foot two. I mean, two? I'd be happy if I was just fucking six. six feet, <laughs> you know? What are you? Five nine. Ah, uh, you almost. I'm trying. Yeah. I think I stunned my growth. You're not a short dude though. I know, but you know, when you're trying to get these tall ladies, you man, know, kinda, confidence, man. You know? I'll tell you them I, I'll climb you. Yeah, I'll climb you. What is this thing with really short dudes with like really tall girls? Have you been seeing that? They like to conquer. Ah, you ever seen that's a Napoleon complex? Oh shoot! They no, you know, are you familiar with Napoleon Bonaparte? Napoleon Blunt part. Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They made yeah. a movie about him with Joaquin Phoenix. Did you see it? Mm-mm. Oh, I don't like to see those movies because uh, unless they're talking in French, mm. like there was this one movie called Valkyrie. I think I think I with Tom that. Cruise. And nobody was speaking German. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is like some weird appropriation shit. <laughs> but um, Ed, we're coming to the end here. Oh, to shoot. To the Naked already? Cat podcast. Oh. I definitely got to have you on again. Thank you. Funny, funny things. Do you have anything going? Um, 
No, if you guys would follow me on my Instagram, I would post more. But in, yeah. in fill time, so follow me at Ed Twenty Black if y'all want to. I know that I probably said a lot of horrible shit, but if you understand me and give me. It won't be that bad. Just just ride this wave with yeah, me. Yeah, just um, ride the wave, guys. Just ride the wave. If y'all if y'all support me, I can actually like really expand my comedy. You ever feel like that? I just want yeah. like like listen to it. It's not I'm not because I don't hate anybody. Like yeah. if that's something to say, like I really don't. I, I don't want to sound too woke and be like I don't see color, but I I really don't have anything. <laughs> yeah. I um my stuff is about light perspective. Yeah. I think you know and being vulnerable. Is what I want to do too And correlate like serious stuff into funny stuff Cause yeah. you know man At the end of the day like We all gonna die 100%. Can I say that You know Yeah We all gonna die Like What are we doing If we not doing what we want to do You know And yeah. hopefully that's not hurting other people But If you're not hurting other people You just wanna fucking live your life man And make it better for the people that come after you What are we doing That's it That's how, like You know And I, I like to spread that joy and comedy And just make things funny And not Take things so seriously So follow yeah. me That's what I do You're gonna see a lot of me I'll be posting my kids Cause I do like my kids He's a, he's a father figure Yeah I hope so Good 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 <laughs> And Black y'all The Naked Thank Cat you. Podcast That's actually um, on a, If you know It's not about cats Ed Oh I thought you said Naked Podcast Were you prepared to get naked For this podcast I, I wouldn't have been Cause I don't like Like sitting on stools naked <laughs> <laughs> But That's yeah. a thing It does I All don't right. got a good body either. Thank you guys <laughs> Bye. <laughs>